Yeah, ooh, a winky face. Um, I'm at our spot right now, meet me. What was he expecting with that winky face on my way? I hope he's not expecting anything. Don't. He ran. Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with the next part of Bad Meets Bad. If you haven't seen the last one, go check it out because it was very messy and it ended with this horrible dinner with this family that our stepmom wanted to go, you know, be friends with. They're all terrible people. They all suck. But we learned some tea about our neighbor who our girl has been flirting with. Apparently his mom... <laughs> has off to few people or like somebody before I don't really know but she's off to someone apparently so that was a big plot twist so we're gonna see what happens with that I am I'm ready for the tea I hope you guys are too be sure to go follow the amazing author Bronzy her Instagram is linked in my description box down below and without further ado let's start the drama Claudia. Whoops, it slipped out. I'm sure it did, Claudia. But you should stay far away from that family. They're dangerous. Girl, the only thing dangerous here is you, Claudia. What is she doing? That went excellently. I'm certain they're beside- Girl, what do you think? Are you still talking? Are you still talking? Yes, you should learn to pay better attention, girl. We're not trying to pay any attention to your ass. Do you not realize how important dinner tonight was? We just might be able to blend in here. Perhaps even truly settle. That would be great. Alex, if you're insistent on making friends, you should really buddy up with Claudia. I think not. No thanks. It was just so nice of her to warn us about the Pauls. They are crazy. I can't say I'm surprised that Malik's mom is dangerous. She always had those crazy eyes. Um, I hate to break it to you, stepmom, but uh, okay, you know, we're just gonna be nice. Explains why Malik is the way he is. In what way is that? He's a failure without a future ahead of him. Oh, like you, sis. Malik said he went no class scum and a complete disgrace to our community. Girly, that's all you. And no, I'm not... Girl, I'm not paying to say have last, last word. No. Later that night, I snuck out as soon as my dad and Nia. Oh, that's her name. I didn't even know she had a name, to be honest. And I like how the game doesn't even recognize that she has a name. It just says stepmom. It doesn't say Nia, just stepmom. You know, she doesn't deserve a name, to be honest. I was secretly hoping Malik would be here. I needed to ask him about the rumors. Could they really be true? I don't... We're probably missing some facts. It came out of Claudia's mouth. Claudia with the K. Do we trust her? I think not. No. I In fact, I'm sure I'm missing some facts. I have his number. I could message him down. I come down and meet me. Okay, well, so do it. Hey, you up? I should have been blunt, to be honest. Our girl's blunt. Yeah. Ooh, a winky face. Um, I'm at our spot right now. Meet me. What was he expecting with that winky face on my way? I hope he's not expecting anything. Don't. He ran. He sprinted. He just zoomed down those stairs. What's happening, Alex? Is everything okay? I mean, at least he's there in a flash. You came. Of course I came. I got your text. <laughs> a little wink. Is something wrong? I know there's more to the story with Malik's mom than what Claudia says. I shouldn't listen to gossip and instead give Malik a chance to defend himself. Oh, you're on your own, buddy. Sorry, I'm gonna go back to bed. We really were just testing you, Malik. Um, you know, the next day, I hardly slept at all last night. Now that everyone has heard rumors about me, can I really face them? I'm just so sick of dealing with these ruthless bullies. And with these rumors about Malik going around, it's just too much. Can we also talk about how, like, Claudia and her family, apparently, are... Because her brother's name is Kai. Kai's in a band with Malik. But yet, the rest of the family is trashing Malik. Do they not know that their son is, like, good friends with him? Because I wish my mom was still around. I wish we knew what happened. Although someone in the comments said, you know, that it was something which she, like, overdosed, I think? Or something. I don't remember it word for word. I probably should have had my little thing ready to, you know. You know what? Let me look it up right now for y'all. Okay, so... 
this was from Sandra. Thank you so much, Sandra. Um, she They said, this is what I know about the mother. They spent their gym to the truth. Her mother had an addiction. One day she overdosed, went to the hospital, and they told the dad that she didn't make it. And that's all I know, said the dad. He also said that Alex's mother loved them both and tried her best to stop the addiction and that she had a positive personality and stuff. So that's what happened to Alex's mom. And... That's the tea, Alex. I know you had a hard time at school the other day and you're probably not looking forward to going back. Can you please just let me do online at this point? We don't have to move. So I left you something on the bathroom counter to help with today. It belonged to your mother. She'd want you to have it. Okay, so what did... Oh, mom's necklace. It's beautiful. Thanks, dad. I love it. Anything for you, honey. So please let us do online school. I know just the outfits to pair it with. Okay, so what is this? Can I just get my other outfits? We still got two we didn't use from earlier. Classy and suave. I'll rise above the rumor mill. I'm sure you will, sis. Oh, that's a cute outfit, though. This one, she's about to stunt. To the, this outfit says that I'm daring and bold. I'll be tougher than any rumor. And she wear, She would tell me to forget about the rumors of walking to high school with my head held high. So I'm going to walk in with my head held high. I'm sure, girl, you know what? Go in bold and confident. You're the bold and the beautiful. Perfect. I already feel more confident. All right. Just honestly, her lipstick has looked fine this whole story. <laughs> it goes with everything. Wow, honey, you look so beautiful. That necklace is perfect on you. You look just like your mother. She'd be so proud of you. Thanks, dad. Having a part of her with me makes me feel a lot better. Okay, so we're going to school. That's right, everybody. OMG, so cute. Wow, Alex, you look great. Well, you're going to be cute to them. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a fabulous day. See you around. Is that what you've been saying behind our back? Interesting. Let's see what the rest of the people have to say to us. Since I know they've been talking about the little rumors. Okay, so we just walking up to the PC. Whoa, is this access to some sort of database? It looks like there's background information about people on here. I don't know how the school library had access to old records like this. What kind of school? I bet there's information about my mom in these files. I didn't get to find out those details from my dad yesterday, but now's my chance to find out more. So I, I'm glad I didn't do that yesterday. So we can, it's about damn time for answers. Google it, look it up in them records. Why was she in and out of the hospital so often before she died? I know she wasn't sick. It has to be something my dad wasn't willing to discuss with me. So what were they hiding? Wait, she was in rehab. Okay, so yes, she had the addiction, sought help from many treatment facilities. The last record of her is from an overdose. Does that mean she's really dead? I knew there was more to the story than I thought. I'm glad I know more about what was really going on. Okay, so we got the information. The tea was spilled. All right, Phoenix is over there. It's Phoenix. Phoenix, come over here. Are we going to do some? What's up? I wanted to talk to you about the other day. I don't know. I'm sorry for just bolting on you. I'm just sick of dealing with bullies at every school I go to. It's okay. I would have done the same. But in that outfit, you put the bullies to shame. The only thing people be talking about today is your fab style. That's what I thought. Okay. Why don't you come to lunch with me and we can talk there? Are we going to go tell her what like we found out? Sugar donuts for lunch again. You know what? That is a perfectly viable lunch. I love sugar donuts. How do you not gain any weight? She is a legend. Cardio. I don't think running away from your problems counts as cardio. Girl, I don't have problems. I'm actually in a running club. You never cease to surprise me. I'm an open book. If you want to know anything about me, all you have to do is ask. What's your biggest secret? I don't know. I still talk to my childhood stuffed animals. Good for you, girly. Did you really just admit that I don't keep secrets, which is very different from you? Yeah, but I have my reasons to be private. I've been burned more than once. I want you to know that you can open up to me about anything. Like, it's okay, Alex. We know you've been burned, but it's time to open up. More friends, you can trust me. Phoenix is right. She's shown me she's trustworthy, and it's been so lonely not having anyone to share stuff with. I think it's time for me to start opening up. Well, girl, actually going to be a closed book. There's nothing. Okay. I hope we're doing an experiment today and ring, ring. Guess lunch is over. I'll walk with you to class. Thanks. 
All right, so anyway, she's going to stay a close book. She really could open her mouth, apparently. So we got Professor Cooper. Oh, today we have an exhilarating experiment. I am sure to expand your minds. We are going to be learning the smoking points of oil. So get into Paris. Alex, you'll be with Claudia. Hell no. Oh, yes, Alex, you can do all the work. Unless there's someone else that you want to partner with. We should partner up. I definitely wouldn't mind being partners with Malik. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying here. Or we got Phoenix over there. So who will it be? I swear, if this this is set me up again. <laughs> We're going with Claudia. Do you want to episode and get my coins? Sorry, I guess I'm going to partner with Claudia. Get over here, Alex. You're my partner. They can talk when we go back to like the old, old where there was just a couple, very, very few, like two options in the story. And they were like, you know, like 10. Like, I think that's a much fair point in not spending freaking $20 per chapter. I'm happy that you admit to me needing my help. Like, I love episode. I love their app. I love them. But I didn't. I can teach you so much. Just listen to everything I tell you. What is she going to teach us? Got it. Hopefully not her style because whatever. First, you need to mix the two oils together. This girl's going to set us up. I don't trust her. Go ahead. We need the teacher to come check. What is that smell? Did somebody mix together the oils? Alex did. Oh, no fire. Okay, we're doing the next chapter just because. Okay, she set us up. We knew she was going to set us up. What is he doing? Everything's okay. That's all for now. Class is dismissed. Perfect, to be quite honest. I'm good. We got out of class. Thanks, Claudia, actually. So that was pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, I can't believe it. No, what I can't believe? What? It almost seemed like you enjoyed having Claudia as a partner. So funny, not? If you think that's funny, you must not get out much, says you. All you ever do is go to school and go home. That's not true. You're right. Sometimes you sneak out back, too. That was such an informative class, right? Can you hear that? Oh, what? It's this conversation ending. <laughs> oh, Claudia. You were slayed, girl. Look shook. So rude. How can you be still be talking to him, Alex? He's bad news and should be locked away. Okay, Malik's family is so awful. You shouldn't be around them. Did you not hear what I told you before? Girl, we can barely hear you in the first place. We choose not to hear you. It makes it doesn't make sense that Malik's mom would kill her own husband. I'm calling Bull. Fine, don't believe me. But ask yourself, where is Malik's dad? I, why don't we just... Have you ever seen him? Maybe I have. If you say so, re okay. Yes, school's over for the weekend. Yay, that means youth camp is only a matter of, oh no, we have that youth camp thing to go to. See you bright and early tomorrow. Let's just get this over with. I'm, let's just get this over with. I'm tired of this girl. Get her out of here. Okay, that night. I hope this medical database can provide some answers so we're doing a little sleuth work. Oh my god, there's a hit from my mom's name. What the hell? I read the limited information there was about my mom. Wait a second. Mom was in rehab until 2004. But I thought mom died in 2003. Oh, okay. So we got some tea right now. I'm glad I have more information. But I still feel like there's so much I want to know. Alex, girl. I'm sorry, what are you doing in here? Did you knock? What are you looking at online? None of your business. This is between me and my mom. It's none of Nia's business. You show me your computer right now. I'm just reading It's my PC, so how about on the 12th and never? Uh-uh. I don't think so, Nia. Is that a Saturday? It means go away. Why are you even here? I just came to say that you need to be on your best behavior at youth camp this weekend. Whatever. Just get out of my room. Fine. Why is she around? That's what I want to know. Like, I, I like our character's dad and he tries his best for her. But does he try hard enough? Because why, why is he letting this woman act all like this to his daughter? I cannot believe I'm actually going to this dumb camp. I can't either. Oh crap, I forgot to close the curtains. Although it looks like Malik is in his room right now. Oh, he getting a view. 
a little show. That is one fine view. I could spend all day staring at him. Maybe I can make him feel the same way. What is she about to do? I don't think so, girly. I'll just get changed. Get your ass in some clothes and get to your youth camp and get this over with. Now what? Don't forget youth camp today. I left an outfit for you to wear with your stepmom. We'll be matching. I can't believe Claudia. I mean, of course. Honestly, of course Claudia would think that. The girl has the biggest ego I've ever seen. Are you going to wear the outfit that darling Claudia left you to wear? I left it for you near the sink. What is this? Oh my. They're going to really be matching. And matching with... I know exactly what I want to wear instead. What is she trying to put on a new look over here? She's trying to stunt. She's trying to get them gems. I can go camping chic. Enjoy your youth camp. You did this to yourself, Alex. So I'm outside. Why? Why is Phoenix here? I'm basically your personal chauffeur now. You're welcome. Alex, get down here. Is so Phoenix just going to drive her there? But Nia... Absolutely not. You are not getting in that car. I will not have you gallivanting around like some criminal. I will be the one taking you to camp. A ride with Nia will be miserable. Come on, Nia. Let her have this one. Alex, you go ahead and choose who you want to go with. My- Oh my gosh. I guess Nia can take me. Get in the car and tell your friend to leave. <sighs> Y'all... It's a relief you chose me over that Phoenix girl. It would have been so embarrassing for our family to side with her. Girl, you were the embarrassment. I'm so happy you'll be at camp this weekend. Make sure you take notes and you impress the counselors. It will look so good for our family. Sure, Nia. Whatever you say. Oh, we're all really having a blast over here. Oh, honestly, she is the odd one out, Miss Casper over there. Should I even ask what's up? I'm glad your mom brought you and not her. The we- the weird girl Phoenix are always hanging around. What are you always doing with her? She's my best friend. Ew, and never say that again. And why is that exactly? She's sinful. Girl, the only sin here is you. Isn't everyone a little sinful? She completely disregards everyone's guidance. A total rebel. I can tell this weekend is going to be so much fun, dripping with sarcasm. I just can't wait to get started. Me neither. I can't believe you're matching with Claudia today. I know. Except I look better, obviously. Why aren't you over there, Casper? Why aren't you matching? But Alex listens to me so well. What should I have her do next? Make her bark. Oh my god, kill me. Girl... Mm, we'd like to take an hour during the weekend activities for us girls to get together. Take a moment to reflect upon the water. Okay, Mrs. Carolina. Water is calm and soothing and represents what we should be like. You have to let go of your bad attitude and rebellious behavior. Breathe in and let go. It felt like an eternity. She went on and on about how we need to behave properly. Well, then the only people that need that are these two girls right next to her. They need to learn how to behave properly because they don't know how to behave properly. I couldn't help but feel it was directed at me. Rebellious, sinful, bad, immoral. Oh, we dip in. Where are you going? Sit down, not finished. Was that very nice of you, Mrs. Carolina? Not very nice, is it? You need this lesson more than anyone here, Alex. Oh, I'm so sick of this. Hypocrites like this woman. People like her think they're so righteous when they're no better than the rest of us. I'm not listening to this judgmental banshee anymore. Take her down a notch. Away from this negativity. You act like we're all bad people, but what does that say about you? Do not sass me, it's impolite. You being so judgmental is the real offense. The only person I see that deserves wrath is you. Save your lecture for somebody that cares. Go throw yourself on that water you're talking about, Mrs. Carolina. No one likes you. So we're in our little cabin. Oh, we're screaming. We're over really upset. Listen here, Alex. No, you listen here, Claudia. Let me tell you a little lesson. I don't like your rude behavior. I had to try my hardest to make you feel welcome and accepted in this community, but you always throw it back in my face. You say the wrong things, behave the wrong way, and you hang out with the wrong people. Claudia, that's you. Are you done? Nice little temper tantrum you had there. You clearly don't belong here. No, we don't. Why don't you transfer again? As long as I never have to see you again. You know what? You can take a little youth camp and shove it up your ass. Bye, Claudia.
Woo. Okay, we are done with those two chapters. So we learned some tea about her mom. We also found out that the dates don't really match up. So there's some little secret going on here. Then we had this whole youth camp drama with Claudia. I can't stand that girl. So now we're about to see what happens in the next one. I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Please, of course, go follow the amazing author Bronte. Her Instagram is linked in my description box down below. And before we go, the shout outs. A special shout out to your dad's WCE, Plato Factory 2, and Savannah Matanga. Thank you so much for all your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. I'm sorry if I messed up anybody's names, but thank you so much and thank you to everyone. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.